Silly me. Bleh. Oh, um? Never mind, I think we might have our quest. Don't... He was only chosen. What's that supposed to mean? Okay... A big tree. Oh, well, huh. Not your one plant. Okay. What about me? I'm not rooted! Oh, well, I guess he is then. Super story important, okay. If the plants join the big tree in the spiritual dimension, the big tree will revive and... Wow, okay. Yeah, it sounds like it is. Ha! <laughs> Uh, okay. Lots of Sproutlings, but we are one. Okay, huh. Love is what we need the most. Well, okay. What's up, Cactus? It's the quest that leads to the final... Oh, huh. Well then. Ah, uh, Cactus? Cactus? Okay, huh. Well, that's interesting. Why then isn't he doing anything? But Lisa, let me go! Or I'll just... Fine. I'll take you with me! So that you'll move. Ah, the Cage of Dreams. Okay. Well, there we go. Alright, so, what do we, let's see, we're here only because we like staying here. Oh, well, that's good. I'm glad you like it here. You've been kidnapped. You're going to the spiritual world. Alright, in the end, this, <laughs> be a great tree. <laughs> you and that great tree stuff. I'm gonna go, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I go back up because it seems like cactus is the key to this. Although I can't quite, can't quite tell really. He didn't really want to be, didn't seem to want to move. I, okay, I guess not. Huh? Well, no, no, I didn't want to go upstairs. You silly. All right. Well, I guess then I need to go to another area. It looks like. Well, cactus is irrelevant. Okay, yeah. Yeah! The answer is at home, though. Alright. Well! Hello, mana tree. You have anything to say? Ah, well, not on that, anyway. I figure while I'm in here, I might as well pick up my fruits. Or at least the ones that are growing, anyway. By the way, I got a... I got a golden... Uh, golden clover by growing stuff the other day. So, it was interesting. I went... I thought it, maybe it was something special and then went to try to sell it, and it didn't sell for anything, so... Alright. Uh, well, bud? Are you related to this? And because there's not really anything I can interact with, this is basically the tutorial room, so I don't really see that being much of a much of anything. Although, good grief, I've got a lot of almanacs now. Uh, yeah, I've got. Let's see. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Ah, uh, well, that's a little further ways down here, I guess. Here we go, Gold Clover. Yeah, I picked it up the other day. I... I don't know. I just figured it might be something special. Alright. Trying to think where... Well, okay. 
Uh, I've had a fair amount. I've been playing around some. I've been selling a few things, too. I didn't think that would really be that much, though. I... I don't even... Yeah, apparently. <laughs> yeah, you can feed clovers to people. Let's see... Oh, hi! Here we are. Here's our answer. Oh. Uh, what the heck are y'all? Seriously, what are those things? We have a talking, weird, symbolic, facey thingy, and we've got a guy that looks like floating Jin Sultan that is about as ticked off as the inspector. We have no use for the mana tree. And has an even stranger... Where's that face and whatever that is? Oh, okay. He was supposed to rise to the spiritual world to become the... Wow. Yeah, that is important. Oh, please, help me! This man trapped a sproutling in a dream with... Wow, that's bad. Sproutlings should remain as they are. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. So basically this is... So he's not wanting to prevent the Sproutling from becoming the Mana Tree for any, I guess, personal reason. He's just afraid of that we would never use the tree's power for good. Huh. Peace is what... Well, yeah, we need peace, but... Not necessarily through the elimination of power, or through the elimination of the mana tree. I suppose we could have lived without the mana tree. Well, if only I had the power. Um, we have the power, I think, but I guess. Never mind. Hey! Well, I'm thinking I probably need to go talk to the other Sproutlings now, because that's what it sounds like. Yeah, I'll go talk to the other Sproutlings. And, oh, hi. Dang, we're running into all sorts of folks in this one. Good grief. Going to have a chat with Nunuzak? Um, sure. Which means I'm probably going to leave Bud behind, but, well, maybe not. Hey, it's Pokeel! Okay, so Nunuzak, I assume, is the weird symbol. Yes, that's him. Okay. The time has come for the Sproutling. <laughs> oh, he's a Wisdom? Huh. Well, good thing I brought Bud along, I guess. You must be aware that blood will be shed. Aye, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll have to see. I'll check. Mana tree may not be a necessity, but it brings blessings. Okay. Well, yeah, I guess here's the argument is... What do you do if, the, if you know this power causes conflict? Do you keep the power or do you throw it away even with its benefits? I guess what you're looking at as far as tranquility, this is a very Buddhist rendering of tranquility, is a lack of desire, or the control of desire. Huh. Definitely gets into some good, I guess, I'm not sure if you'd call it theology, I guess philosophy would be the better way to term it. I guess for folks watching, if I'm skipping this too fast, just thwack me upside the head electronically. I uh, just did slow it down. Oh, and it's all about love. True love. Except this time it's actual love instead of Gilbert thinking he's in love, love. Hmm. 
Wow. I didn't realize you could be so deep. I guess, given that you're a wisdom, that fits, but masters of trickery? Huh. Fighting against the pessimistic world. Yeah, oh well. I mean, it's, I don't disagree necessarily with Nunuzak's perspective on things. I mean, he is... I think his... His perspective is based on the fear of what would happen with that sort of unbridled power. And it's not... It's not... Something that can't be understood. It's not a viewpoint that I could, you know, just not sympathize with. But... I am generally, I think, an optimistic person at heart, so I think I would lean more toward Pokiel's direction than Nunezite. Just me, anyway. Good grief, a lot of exposition here, though. Boy, I kind of feel bad at this point for not narrating, but I don't know. It's I'm more of a narrator when it comes to my LPs, but for something like this that's live, it's a little bit different, I think. to destroy this world. Wow, let's not do that, please. Oh, uh, no, Sir Pokiel! I want to talk to you. Can I talk to you? Oh, he's gone. Uh, yeah, looks like he's gone. Darn it. Oh, well, that's worth a shot anyway. Alright, well, I guess I'm going back in and talking with these guys, then. Alright, so... Oh, you're just saying the same stuff now. Alright, and now what do you have to say, Nunezak? For what do the world and our lives exist? Well, I guess we're about to find out, aren't we? Ah, uh, hi! Well, I'm glad I brought Bud along. <laughs> Could use the extra magic help. Ow! Well, I guess it it's, uh, obviously looks very much like the uh, Tech of Caverns, the first dungeon we were in. I'm guessing it does for a reason. What am I doing? That's better. Okay. I'm guessing this is supposed to go through some of the other dungeons we've had and then sort of give us a little bit of a reminder, I guess, about stuff going on. And that's 17 per... Wow. Okay. All right, entrapment of love. <laughs> okay, what are we going through the uh, knowledge and its pitfall? Huh? Well, I guess we're going through all of the uh, instead of the seven deadly sins, we're going through all the great attributes of humanity. Yeah, it's a little surprising. Oh, nice hit, Golem! Dang, I'm glad I built you. You're doing better than your predecessor, I guess. Wow, experience is definitely good for this one. Then we have Desire to Awaken. Huh, ah, okay. Alright, and Maelstrom for you. Since you all were so politely lined up in a row like that, figure why not. Take you all out in one blow. And then collect your items and run. <laughs> Alright, let's see. No, nothing around here, I guess. So it's, this looks like it's going to be, just in terms of dungeon running and what have you, it looks like it's going to be pretty straightforward, actually. Well, hey, good job. Dang. Ah, would you... That, well, maybe. There we go. Alright, let's see. Okay. Then... Will to trust, and we get a story. Hey, Spratling, what's up? 
I see a boss battle coming. Just saying. Ha! I have to go heal the mana tree! Go! Go forth and heal! Okay. Take the sword. Alright. Fine. You insist. And I get the sword. Ah, okay. That opens up the last area. Alright. Whoa. Hi. You just sprouted a tree on your head? That's strange. And that's it. Okay. Wow. Well, that was a little shorter than I figured. <laughs>